Hi everyone, this is Real World Audio again. I have just received a great question uh, which is saying that uh, are 2A3 and 45 vacuum tubes interchangeable? Because some people say that, okay, I have a 2A3 amp and we can put in a 45 in it. Is that true? And now the I have a short answer and a long answer for that. The short answer that is that if uh, your amplifier specifies that it can use both 2A3 and 45, then yes. Uh, in that case, you may use either of them. Uh, but if your amp does not specify it, then uh, if, uh, if it's a 45 amp and you plug in a 2A3, it probably won't blow up, but it, it will sound probably uh, kind of strange uh, but if it's uh, uh, a 2A3 amp and you plug in a 45 you will probably kill the tube very, very shortly almost probably right away within a few minutes it will blow up and now let's look at the physics of it and uh, uh, so first of all why did that question rose up it's because both of these tubes are really low power tubes but uh, let's just see now how low power tubes are these two and what they can do for you so this is the nj7p tube database this is my go-to place so it's like going uh, grocery shopping uh, I, I go to nj7p just to have a quick look up on uh, tube data and i can say that it has a uh, most uh, US tubes in it. It, it. it has very few of the Western electric tubes, but like regular like RCA, GE and others, uh, they are mostly in here. So that includes 45s and 283s. So when you look at 45, it's a 4D base. So when you look at tube data, the first thing you want to see is what kind of base do they use. So are the tube sockets compatible to each other? And then it shows that it has four pins. So the tube has four legs and leg number one and number four are the filaments. So this is how the tube is heated. Number two is the plate. So that's where the high voltage goes. And number three is the grid. So this is where the input signal goes and it will be amplified through the plate and uh, that's it. So let's have a look at the 2A3. The 2A3 has the same pinout. It also has a 4D base, one and four are filament and so on. And when you look at the bases, all these bases have a number for them to identify the base. And this base is called 4D. So if you have a tube data sheet and, uh, or a tube manual and you look up tubes, then you look up, okay, 4D base, and it will list the tubes which are 4D base. So it means that every tube that has a 4D base will fit in that tube socket. So if uh, your amplifier has this socket, you can fit in a, either 45 or 2A3. But just because you can put a tube in there doesn't mean that it will uh, work there properly and it will be stable. So the second thing you want to look at when you are looking at a vacuum tube is the size of the tube itself. Because by now we have established that, okay, the feet are the same, we can plug it into the same amp. But now let's see. So the 2A3 has ST16. That's the name of the bulb. ST means shoulder type. So it, it shows this Coke bottle. They, they call it like Coke bottle. And it's shoulder type because this is the shoulder of the tube. So these tubes have a shoulder and, and that's ST and 16 means uh, uh, that's the size. And they have like a series of ST numbers and the larger the number is, the bigger the Coke bottle. So ST16, as you say, uh, the, uh, from the bottom of the base to the top, it is, let's see how much, four, and almost five inches tall basically 
and then when you look at the bottom of the legs, bottom of the pins and the top of the tube, it's like five and a half inches uh, tall tube. Let's see what is the size of a 45. It's ST14 size bob, it's smaller. And then you see, so it's barely over four inches tall between here and there, while the 2A3 was almost five inches tall. So, so that's quite a bit taller. So it's a 25% taller than the 45. And this, without looking at any other parameters, we already know that the 2A3, because of its much bigger size, is capable of dissipating a lot more heat than the 45 can. And because of that, it will be able to produce a much higher power output. And uh, as Corey mentioned that there's the new KR45 tube, this is the 45 made by KR, and they have a, a bigger uh, bulb for that tube, the same size as the 2A3, the ST16 size, and it's specified at a higher power dissipation rating uh, than the uh, original 45, and, and, and as Corey said, he has both of these tubes, the KR45 and the regular 45, and they have the same size plate structure inside. And yes, if you uh, put it in a bigger envelope, in a bigger bulb, then it will be able to dissipate heat across a bigger surface area. So it means that it can conduct the heat away from the plate at a much higher rate. And this translates to uh, that you can run it at a higher plate voltage than, uh, than a traditional 45. However, that's just the KR45 tube. But now let's look at some more data on the comparison between uh, 2A3 and 45. And that's the filament voltage. It's 2.5 volts for the 2A3 at 2.5 amperes. And when we look at the 45, it's same voltage, 2.5 volts, but only 1.5 amperes. So, so the filament consumption is almost half as much for the 45 as it is for the 2A3. So this has two implications. One, if your amp was specifically built for a 45 and you plug in a 2A3, uh, because it draws almost twice as much current, there is uh, some chance that it can ruin your power transformer because if it draws too much current, it, uh, and if uh, the, uh, the filament winding on your uh, power transformer was designed just to barely handle 1.5 amperes, that will be inadequate for 2.5 amps and you will ruin the power transformer of your type 45 amplifier when you plug in a 2A3. So there's uh, immediately a problem with that. However, if your amplifier, if your Type 45 was built with a lot of uh, margin for the filament uh, power, so the uh, transformer is capable of handling almost twice the current, even in that case, uh, your 2A3 will run cooler than the 2.5 volts. And that's because of the simple fact that if you increase the current draw, then the voltage output will sag for your filaments. So it means that uh, maybe instead of the 2.5 volts, you will be getting maybe like 2.3 or 2.2 volts. So your 2A3 will run quite a bit cooler than it, it really would like to. And uh, that will result in an anemic sound. So in the... In those amplifiers, which are specifically designed to run both 45 and 2A3, then you can uh, switch between the filament powers if you plug in a 45 or 2A3, so that uh, you can switch that both of the tubes are getting 
exactly the same 2.5 volts AC. Another option is maybe the amp has a regulated DC filament supply. In that case, uh, it is taking care automatically of supplying the correct voltage to the tubes. And now let's look at uh, the interact load capacitance is will not affect whether an amp a tube will work in an amp or not. If they are drastically different, it means the other tube is uh, harder to drive uh, than the other. And as we see, the uh, 2A3 input capacitance 7.5 picofarad and 45, depending on one tube manual, it's 5, other says 4. Uh, so 2A3 will be more difficult to drive, so it means that we will hear more high-frequency roll-off with a 2A3 compared to a uh, 45. And maximum ratings, this is really key, and for the 45 it lists 275 volts, and for the uh, 2A3 it lists 300 volts. So if your amp is running 300 volts and you plug in a 45, it will burn that tube to a crisp. And if it's running at 275 volts, then both tubes are acceptable in it. And let's see, let's now look at operating points. And here, uh, so the one reasonable point where I found the same for both tubes is at 250 volts on the plate. So let's say your amp is running 250 on the plate then what can we get out of the tube? So for a 2A3, the, the upper one here, this li lists it as a fixed bias mode, and the, here it's the auto bias or cathode bias uh, listed. And, um, and basically here we see that it's running at 60 milliamps. So the current that the tube draws is 60 milliamps at 250 volts, and the grid bias is minus 45 volts, or you can get this through a 750 ohm resistor. Now let's see. So these are actu the actual operating points. So, so for two tubes to be compatible, it means that they need pretty close operating points. Is it the case for the 45 and 2A3? So here is the 250 watts, so grid voltage is minus 50 watts, so if we are running it in a fixed bias, then I would say they are reasonably close to each other. Uh, but, but here comes the but. The plate current is only 34 milliamps for the 45. That's almost only half of the 2A3 and uh, it does not list the, the uh, cathode uh, resistor value. So if it's a self-biasing uh, amplifier, in that case, if we divide 50 by 34, then we get the resistance of uh, the uh, tube. Uh, I mean, of the <laughs> another tube. Then we get the resistance of the cathode resistor and and that is uh, 1.5 K and the problem is that when we look at the 2A3 it's 800 ohms so half of the 45 so this has two consequences so if you plug in a 2A3 into the amp that was designed for a 45 then it will draw uh, almost very little current because it would need 800 ohms to bias up properly and because we are giving it twice that value it will run at a very low current and uh, yes i would say in a 45 amp you can plug in the 2a3 and it will work but then you will not get 3.5 watts out of it because it's running at such a low current, then you are probably going to get about 2 watts out of it, and it will be running in a starved mode, and it will be sounding pretty anemic compared to a 45. And when you look at the 45, 
uh, at 34 milliamps it has 1.6 watts output power and uh, and if we would plug this in a amp that's designed for 2a3 then because there the 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 cathode bias is only 800 ohms it would run allow this tube to consume much more uh, plate current than 35 4 milliamps probably would let it allow to 60 milliamps or more and it would in almost instantly destroy the tube in your amplifier so as we have seen from the from the tube data these tubes are not at all compatible with each other basically a 2a3 is almost exactly like two 45s and when you look at the tube structure how the tubes like the 2a3 tube has two plates inside and basically within the glass of a 2a3 you have two 45 tubes um, it's not exactly the same because when you look at the plate structure the 45 has a square plates and flat and the 2a3s have have a rounded edge plate so it's been a little modified but essentially when they develop the 2a3 they just doubled up the 45 that's how it was developed and uh, and when you look at all of the other data uh, the uh, it's everything every operating point is consistent with the fact so based that that you are running uh, two 45 tubes so when we look at the comparison between the two a single 2a3 tube is identical to two 45 tubes so thank you for uh, hanging on and i hope this was uh, informational to everyone please like and subscribe bye bye